The friends, I had a pretty serious fall the other day and it really scared me. I was coming down the stairs, it was early in the morning, and I was overthinking, I was stuck in anxiety, and I was stuck in my head and I wasn't paying attention. I was walking down the stairs and my feet flew out from under me, I lost my footing, and I fell flat on my back and I slid on my back about three or four stairs down. And then when I landed, I landed at the bottom of the stairs very hard on the tailbone area. And it was so loud, it was early in the morning, Kyle was sleeping, it actually woke him up. When I fell, it was pretty painful, but um, I was kind of embarrassed so I like kind of like fluffed it off because I had been in my head and I had been letting anxiety get the best of me but it really scared me because when I realized later it was so close to the tailbone like one inch more to the left and I would have landed directly on my tailbone which could have caused serious injury and so um, you know, I slid, I hit this part and I, I slid all the way down on my back and when I landed, landed here and I have a really bad bruise right over here. If it had again been any closer to the tailbone, I really could have been injured. And as I got up, I was able to walk around and I felt okay, but my whole upper body felt really rattled and I had a really bad migraine. But as the day went on, it kind of like, you kind of faded. What I didn't realize and what really scared me was that there was gonna be an aftermath and the aftermath was gonna be rough. I'm filming this video on Sunday and my fall was on Thursday. It wasn't until this morning that I woke up and felt the brunt of the fall. I felt really rough, I'm really sore. The bruise is black and blue um, close to my tailbone. And why I'm making this video is because I have let my anxiety bully me so much, get me out of the present moment so much that this is not the first time that I've hurt myself like that where I am trying to hide and run from my anxiety so that I'm not thinking and I'm making mistakes or hurting myself and I felt like this was like my last wake up call. And I did a video not too long ago um, about my anxiety and how it's been really causing me a lot of stress and you know, I've been clenching my teeth more, sleeping, really not sleeping the greatest. And I said I wasn't gonna run. And that morning, why I was so embarrassed that I fell and I tried to fluff it off like it was fine was because I was running. I was hiding, I wasn't paying attention, I didn't want to deal with the anxiety and I ignored it and I fell and I could have really hurt myself. After and today, I actually realized like I wanted to make this video and share it with you because now I'm thanking my anxiety. And this might sound weird but if the anxiety hadn't caused me this much pain and discomfort, like figuratively and physically speaking, um, I might not have woken up and realized like, I don't wanna run anymore. And I might, it might have kept giving me the same lesson over and over again until it got so bad that I woke up. Well, I don't want the same lesson anymore and I'm up. And if anyone else is struggling, it doesn't matter with what, anxiety, weight, whatever, and you're hiding and you're not looking at it, there might be a message underneath, like I got this wake up call, underneath it was, you can drop the anxiety, Nicole, you don't need it anymore. You're good enough and you're worthy. And I feel like this wake up call is very similar to the one I got when I needed to lose weight. Kyle and I were had reached our heaviest, um, he was 375, I was 275 pounds, and our weight was causing us serious health problems. When uh, I had sleep apnea so bad, I needed a machine to help me breathe at night. And when Kyle got his type 2 diabetes diagnosis, because his weight had caused it, that was our wake-up call. And it scared us enough to change. And I feel like now, you know, I've lost 130 pounds, 
kept it off for seven years, so has Kyle. We've worked through the emotional eating struggles, but the anxiety is still there, and I think I finally got the wake-up call. I'm ready to drop the anxiety now. And in the last video, I said to you guys, like, not gonna run, and I meant it. I'm not running anymore. Yes, I'm having moments where I forget and I try to hide from my anxiety and that's why I fell. But since I fell, I've been so much more present, like trying to do one thing at a time and be in the moment and not run. And what I mean by running is like, um, I, I'm avoiding the anxiety. So I'll go in my head and I'll get stuck and I'll just overthink and I'll cause myself all this panic and anxiety, but I don't want to look at what's underneath, what's causing it. And what's causing it, um, what I'm running from, like what I don't want to look at is that I don't think that I'm good enough. And so I keep avoiding it and I'm looking for, you know, love and validation and I'm seeking that from other people instead of looking at it in myself. And now, instead of like hiding from it, I'm looking at it. And when I'm feeling the anxiety, I'm actually giving myself permission to have it. Instead of pretending that I don't and pretending that everything's okay, I'm going, okay, I'm having anxiety right now. I'm having it right now while I'm doing this video because I always doubt myself and I'm nervous about what other people will think, but it's okay. I'm letting it be there because I don't want to pretend it's not there anymore. I know that I'm good enough to work through it. And my insides, because I'm sitting with it, like kind of feel like a blender because the, um, my head is like telling me, um, you're not good enough and it's making me feel funny, nervous. But underneath, if I pay close enough attention, there's also like this sort of excitement because I'm facing my fears and I'm doing things even though I'm anxious and I'm working through it anyway because I'm finally realizing that I'm good enough and I'm worth it. And this is another reason why I'm doing this video because if there is anyone out there struggling right now and you also run, meaning you like hide and you don't wanna look at the real reason why you struggle with things, know that you're good enough to stop hiding, to stop pretending that it doesn't exist and to look at it. Because like me, there was a message underneath the anxiety. There might be a message for you that you're not giving the space because you keep pretending it's not there. If you give it space, the message might come through and the message might be, you are worthy. You're enough to be who you are. You don't have to worry about what other people think. You can be fully you. You can love yourself, be gentle. You can allow yourself to face your fears and work through whatever you're struggling because you are good enough. And life is too short to keep hiding from the things that cause us issues. And I realized all of the things, the anxiety, the emotional eating, those were actually kind of like, this might sound funny, but like, good messages in disguise because it caused me enough stress and emotional for who that it got me to look at whoa i'm i'm better than this i don't need to struggle and put myself through this all the time and feel miserable all the time i'm allowed to love myself and love life and live life the way i want not worry about what people are thinking about me all the time and that's what I wanted to deliver in this message. You're good enough to not hide from things. You're good enough to face your fears, to look at the things that are causing you struggles because there might be a message for you underneath that you're good enough to accept now and you're good enough to push through and know that you're not alone and I'm not backing down. I'm not gonna run anymore. I'm not gonna hide from my anxiety or any other struggle I have. I'm gonna look at it, thank it, accept that it's there and work through it. So. Something practical and what I'm gonna do right now to deal with this and if someone else is struggling with this and you want something practical, I'm working on doing one thing at a time because my whole life I've done multitasking where I'm avoiding being right here in the moment and I take on way too many things at once, which is why I fell because I was walking down the stairs while thinking, while doing multiple other things. So now I'm walking down the stairs being very like mindful of, of what I'm doing. I'm taking care of myself before I used to rush. I used to, you know, um, do my nails and I, I would end up like, you know, hurting myself. And instead of trimming my cuticles 
mindful, I'd rush and it would be a mess. So now I, I trim my cuticles before this video, very mindful, very loving and, and paying attention, doing everything one thing at a time, acknowledging when like the anxiety is there and that I want to sort of do multitasking, but still making a point to do one thing at a time. So I like when I refer to the anxiety, like some of you might know ego as well. And it's kind of like the same thing for me, but the ego or the anxiety, what it's always trying to do to me is get me to rush and get out of this moment to get to the next, kind of like telling me that this moment isn't good enough, but the next one will be. And then when I'm in the next moment, it's like, well, get out of this one and get to the next one. And then that's how I live my life. And I miss out on moments and I end up, you know, like falling and, uh, or making simple mistakes that I would have never made if I was just doing one thing at a time. So the friends, I love you very much one thing at a time. It's how I lost the weight and kept it off. It's how I work through my emotional eating and it's how I'm going to work through the anxiety now. So I love you guys. I hope this helps inspire you guys to love yourself and work through things, um, doing one thing at a time. If you want to know exactly how I lost the weight, I do have weight loss eBooks. The links are down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. I'm also sponsored by Hoodle or HTLT SEPs. If you would like to get yourself some supplements, check out the link down below and use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. Luckier Marshmallow is my favorite protein. I love you. Don't forget, subscribe if you didn't already. Watch more vids to see how you can just love life and just love your food and one thing at a time and we're in this together, cuties. I'm right here, right alongside you. I struggle, but I'm not giving up. And I hope you don't either because you're worth it to not give up. Love you. Peace, my love. I'll catch you in the next one cuties. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it.